Happy travel season, everyone! The time of year when everybody loses their minds, travels across the country to spend time with friends and family, and kicks themselves as they spend two extra hours at the airport because they didn't sign up for TSA pre-check. It's too late for that now, guys. You should have thought of that in September. What it may not be too late for is replacing your crappy luggage with something altogether better, more sustainable, functional and organizational, so you have one less thing to worry about when you board that plane, no matter where you're going. To wit, the 38 liter Cotopaxi Alpa roller bag and the 44 liter Topo Designs Global Travel Bag Roller. Two excellent adventure-ready pieces of carry-on luggage that excel in the organization department as well as the durability department. We've tested both backpack versions of these bags in the past. We'll link to those reviews below. So we already know we love the concepts. But we took a closer look at both brands' roller bags, which are entirely different animals, and tested them out to help you decide which suits your travel style better. Why these two bags specifically? Well, they're both from sustainable and outdoor loving companies. They both excel in the organization department and both are designed for people who don't like boring old luggage or don't want to look like every other trendy white woman in the airport with their stylish it luggage. No shade. Just noticing a trend is all. Both bags are about the same size, with the Topo measuring 21 by 13 and a half by nine inches and the Cotopaxi measuring 22 by 14 by 12 inches. Which means that somehow the Topo is smaller but also larger in the volume department. I'm wondering if the external measurements don't include fully loaded exterior pockets. That's my assumption. There. Anyway, the Topo is 6.6 .6 pounds while the Cotopaxi is 6.9, so just a smidge heavier, but not enough to complain about. <laughs> but boring <laughs> and necessary, stats out of the way, let's take a closer look at both these bags. Just from a first glance, the Cotopaxi looks sleek and clean, just like all the bags in the Alpa line. I like that about it. Plus, it comes in a slew of vibrant color combos, which, you know, you now expect from Cotopaxi. I love the spacious front top pocket, which, much like the Alpa travel backpacks we've reviewed and love and take everywhere, internationally and nationally, it has a zippered organizational pocket inside. But honestly, the real beauty is in how nice and big this pocket is. There's plenty of room for snacks or bulkier items like, I don't know, a small camera or your toiletry kit. Or it fits the Alpa X 4 liter hip pack. So if you tend to bring along a smaller bag when you travel to, you know, carry around once you arrive at your destination, that's a really handy feature. The hip pack just nestles in there perfectly with just a bit of extra room for another item or two. I love that about this bag. The, the integration is just beautiful. As for the exterior, the front is made of a nice durable polyester that can definitely stand up to being thrown around by overworked baggage handlers. The rest of the bag is a heavy duty nylon and all of it is made from 100% recycled materials, which is rad. But let's talk about other features. I actually don't love the buckle straps on the outside. They do work to cinch the bag down a little if it's not totally full, but they don't make that big of a difference. Uh, you can add a TSA approved lock to the main zipper though, which is nice. Now the buckles do mean that you have to unclip them every time you want to unzip and root through your bag, which means there are going to be buckle straps flopping all over the place all the time. Totally not a big deal, just something I noticed and you may want to consider if you're constantly getting in and out of your bag during travel days. The wheels feel fairly sturdy, though at this price point I was kind of hoping for something a little more rubberized that would roll over uneven surfaces a bit better, but those also don't tend to last as long, so I'm not really complaining. I don't even know why I mentioned it, honestly. They are a good size. The bottom stabilizer bar feels sturdy and doubles as a handle, which makes three handles total. One on the hinge side of the bag and one on the top. They're insanely rugged, by the way, though I kind of wish there was one on the other side of the bag too. Totally not a deal breaker, but again, worth mentioning. The rigid back panel is fabric coated dense plastic and feels pretty robust. Not maybe as robust as your typical hard sided luggage, you know, but 
close enough. The telescoping handle slides up and down easily and there's plenty of room to get your hand in the handle there. So it feels well built and extends to a very comfortable length for rolling carry. But let's open her up. So on the inside, the Alpa opens like a clamshell. The distribution of space is sort of a crossover between what you'd find in a traditional hard-sided case that, you know, stores half of your clothes on one side and half on the other, and a soft-sided case where when you unzip it and open it up, it's really just the lid on the left with all the storage space in one deep pocket on the right. In the Alpa roller bag, there is a mesh zipper compartment on the inside of the lid with enough room to store shoes, packing cubes, jackets, you name it. Personally, I like to use that section for things I wanna keep separate and organized from the main clothing compartment. Like, hiking boots. Both sides are nicely secured by a zippered mesh flap, so if you have to open your bag in the middle of the airport or on a train or just once you get to your hotel room, you can open and close it without worrying about your stuff just, you know, flying all over the place. But let's move on to the Topo Designs Global Travel Bag Roller. Right away, just looking at it, it looks outdoorsy. It comes in several colors, including this lovely classic olive, and it too has sturdy wheels that are very similar to those on the code epoxy, but they're just slightly bigger. The Topo does roll slightly smoother thanks to those just moderately larger wheels. But Honestly, there's really not that much difference there. The global travel bag does have handles on all four sides, the bottom being the stabilization bar, which is also nice and solid, by the way, just a slightly different design. The telescoping handle feels maybe a little less hardy than the one on the Alpa, but I don't know if that's just because it's made of a few more pieces put together or what. It's still perfectly functional, but is about an inch or two shorter than the handle on the Alpa. So if you're super tall, I guess keep that in mind. The back of the Topo bag does feel a bit more durable as it's a solid plastic material. But what really sets this bag apart is all the pockets and accessories. Now, that's what I loved about the Topo Designs travel bags when we tested them a while back. All the organization possibilities. I mean, just the front pocket has a slim but deep side entry pocket, then a padded area with even more zippers and pockets. It's not. Uh, by the way, the outside zippers even have security loops to prevent theft, and that's on all the outside zippers. Excellent to know. That said, if the outside pockets have a downside, it's that they're not super spacious. These are more for tall, flat things, like maybe a small laptop, uh, notebooks, vegan jerky, uh, that sort of thing. Not cameras or a box of voodoo donuts you picked up during your layover in the Denver airport. Just me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I see you voodoo lovers out there. There's even a little kind of hidden pocket on the top of the bag for quick but secure access to stuff like your phone or wallet. Very handy little feature. But maybe two of my favorite features? the easily removable backpack straps, and the accessory clip. I love the straps because depending on how you're traveling, a backpack can be so much easier to transport than a roller bag. So it's really nice to have that as an option, especially if, like us, you go to Europe fairly frequently and have to drag your bag across cobblestone streets. Just don't put anything too fragile in the front pockets, like a bag of chips. I don't know, if you're gonna carry it like a backpack. As for the accessory straps, you can use them to attach another topo bag to the front of the roller bag, which is awesome because I have a topo rover classic that I love to travel with. So if my shoulders need a break, I can just clip the backpack to the top and bottom of the global traveler and just keep rolling. Now, if you do clip a bag on the front, it may get a little bit tippy depending on the weight of each bag. It just depends. The clips can be a little tricky to get the hang of, but they're fine. But let's check out the inside. Now, this bag opens more like a traditional soft-sided suitcase with pretty much all the packing space on the right. On the left, on the inside of the lid, there are just two low-profile mesh zipper pockets. Now, these are good for important documents or tech accessories or, I, I don't know, dirty socks. On the right, there's another deep pocket in the divider for, I don't know, more dirty socks or whatever. I don't know, you do you. Then the whole bulk of the packing compartment, which fits the Topo pack bags or packing cubes, 
just perfect. I love pack and cubes, guys. Just like I love all of the organization as well as the high-vis interior, which is a standard feature on both of the bags. As for sustainability, in addition to all the fabric on the Alpa being made of recycled materials, Cotopaxi is a B Corp and climate neutral certified, and they have a repair program, so if something goes wrong with your bag, they'll help you fix it. They're also a brand committed to doing good and are really transparent about their sustainability progress, which is always a good sign. As for the global travel bag from Topo, the nylon is also made from 100% recycled materials, plus it's fair wear certified, which means standards are in place in the factories where this bag is made to ensure workers get fair pay and are treated well. You know, they're safe and healthy. Kind of important. There's slightly more metal on the Topo, making me think it's not only more durable, but also more easily repairable. Topo also has a solid warranty and repair program that helps extend the life of each bag that goes out into the world. Plus they map out their sustainability initiatives and plans for the future right on their website. So who is which bag for? Well, that's hard to say. If I had to pick one for my travel style, it would probably be the Topo for just for the sheer versatility of this bag. I mean, I almost always travel with a laptop, so I appreciate the padded pockets and the ability to clip a Topo day pack to the front for more secure carry than just flopping it over the telescoping handle. Plus I love all those organizational pockets. That said, those pockets do tend to be on the smaller side. So if you don't mind fewer pockets, as long as they're nice and spacious, it's the coat epoxy all the way. It just feels like it can hold a ton of bulky stuff, including in that front top pocket. And if you need even more room, it's also worth noting that the Alpa roller bag comes in a massive 65 liter version, so you can have matching checked luggage too if you want. Now, obviously the coat epoxy is a little softer. There's not as much rigid material here. So anything you put in here, well, let's just say I wouldn't travel with a ton of fragile stuff in this bag. Uh, if you did, I'd put it towards the very back and wrap it well. <laughs> fragile items would be slightly safer in the Topo Designs bag. Either way, they're both great bags. They will both stand up to airport wear and tear for years to come. <laughs> yep, even at the holidays. We know because we've tested them. But it does feel like you'd get a little more bang for your buck, so to speak, with the Topo Designs bag. The choice really just boils down to which one is right for you and your travel style. Sorry, I can't be more definitive. Listen, luggage is a very personal thing, okay? But we would love to hear which one you think would suit you best, so drop that in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any more travel-related gear content. Then you can check out even more content like, I don't know, gift guides for outdoorsy folks over on terradrift.com. Oh, and did we mention we have a Patreon? Listen, I freaking hate asking people for money, but our paid Patreon supporters get all kinds of good stuff that everybody else doesn't. Like, I don't know, gear giveaways multiple times a month? Now pack your bags. Don't stress yourself out this holiday travel season and wander on. Who am I kidding? How, how do you even have holidays without, without stress? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do it. If you know how to do it, feel free to let me know because I got nothing.